So we regularly talk about as real estate agents and investors the importance of avoiding probate, and we do that through estate planning. And there's other uh, also great techniques while you're buying real estate as an investment. You want to have a, an attorney that's local uh, into your state that can give you that advice. One of the top attorneys in the Tampa area and you know the larger area of Florida is Mike Mortellaro, who's a state planning attorney in Tampa, works closely with Melanie Hansen, our team of uh, the probate nurse fame. Uh, Mike, thanks for making time today. Uh, thank you so much. I appreciate the opportunity. How did you get into the specific area of law related to estate planning, probate avoidance, and real estate trusts? So um, I'm third generation from the Tampa area. My uh, great grandparents immigrated from Sicily in 1891, and we've been kind of a Tampa staple since then. So when I went to law school, I was trying to find a practice area that felt good, where I didn't have to go and fight every day of my life, but I could actually help people in the legal world. And estate planning just came naturally because with, you know, at that time, 125 years under our belt in the Tampa area, um, my family knew a lot of people and a lot of people knew my family. So everybody could use a good estate plan. Most people don't have a good estate plan. And so we started off with the uh, general estate planning. And then from that point, I had clients, you know, unfortunately pass away from time to time. And so I decided to learn probate. So then we got into estate planning and probate. And then I think kind of the magic happened where I had clients that were uh, not yet passed away, but not so healthy. And they were dealing with issues surrounding Medicaid, nursing home, assisted living, memory care, and having to liquidate many of their properties because they were assets and uh, having to then spend all that down at the nursing home and eventually leave their family nothing. So that's when we got into more of the asset protection world, uh, not only for the seniors and our elder law asset protection side of the business, but active investors, real property owners, landlords, and not only how do we avoid probate when the time comes uh, and save a bunch of time and money. And let's, let's be honest, if you have tenants and you pass away and they know like, hey, no one's there to collect the rent check next week, um, maybe I'll just hang out until the judge tells me I have to leave. And that could be in Florida, six to 12 months. So mm -hmm. we wanna make sure there's continuity of ownership of control uh, of landlord duties and collecting of rents and evicting if you don't pay your rents as well as the asset protection if somebody gets hurt on one of your properties can they get to all of your other assets or can we put uh, legal structures in place to give you asset protection so we do it all a to z you know i've interviewed probably 200 attorneys in probate space you're the first one that told me in law school they started in that spot I think you're the first one. And I think that shows the passion and the way you run your business and just a little I've, a little I've researched on you. It just seems con so consistent that this is an area that, that you have a passion about. Let's talk about, you said something in the beginning that you help people who both have a plan and don't have a plan. As a real estate agent, we very regularly come across people who don't have a plan. First time home buyers, people coming into money, going up the ladder of financial wealth. And one of the challenges is they need the plan. We know they need the plan but they don't yet appreciate the the benefit of investing some time and money now for something they perceive as being 40 or 50 years off. So when you have a discussion with somebody, you know, I know that not all customers who meet with you execute a plan, some just kind of disappear, or come back years later. What do you say to them about the importance or the value of planning now to avoid those problems down the road? So I think we break up estate planning into two broad categories in Florida. We have our disability and incapacity planning, and then we have the traditional notions of who's in charge of my estate and where does my stuff go when I pass away. So I try to emphasize to people that, you know, every day is a bit of a blessing and, and uh, we don't know how many days we're going to have and certainly how many healthy days. And I always point to uh, stories and national cases that people, many people remember uh, the Terry Schiavo case um, that was back from you know, 25, 30 years ago. People remember her name. She was a Florida girl and she was in her late 20s when she had a you know medical event that left her in a persistent vegetative state. And while statistically that doesn't happen to 20 year olds often, uh, that happened to her. Uh, we have a lot of people with car accidents and brain injuries, like you name it. And so I always say 18 is technically the age that we are no longer under our parents' you know, control um, and they can't even step in to help us. So when we go off to college and we have that hold my beer and watch this moment while I uh, go do something stupid and end up in the emergency room, parents are no longer your legal parents. They're your biological parents when you turn 18. So things like power of attorney and healthcare surrogate, even for young folks, crucially important. The moment we own real property, um, I think that's a 
that that's a turning point uh, in our lives financially because if you just have a bank account and you have a spouse or a significant other, you just name them as the beneficiary on your bank account. No big deal. You get hit by the beer truck. You know, they get your money. Life goes on. There's not a big legal event. But when you own real property and that property has to go through probate, six to 12 months in the system, you have attorney's fees, court costs, filing fees, publication fees, bond, paralegal fees, personal representative fees. Dollar for dollar, that comes out of the hands of your beneficiaries, your spouse, your children, your friends, family, charities. And so it's about creating efficiency because we don't know when we're going to pass, but unless you figured out a way to never pass away, um, we are going to need this plan sooner or later and getting it in place sooner just smooths the way for whatever curveballs life may throw us. So it just makes sense. A lot of people move to Florida from other states. We've got a bunch from California, no disrespect to California, but uh, they're moving. Well, go Florida. ahead. Disrespect okay. California all you want. <laughs> I've lived in Florida as well, so you can do, I can say that with authority. Go ahead and disrespect yes, California. Yes, yes, you, you have a litmus test. I've only been to California once. It was uh, Southern California, Laguna Beach area. It was gorgeous. Yeah. Um, but the tax structure really um, made me think twice about ever moving there. Anyway, so people move to Florida, even if they already have a plan. And while every state does have reciprocity with every other state, the reality is there are certain documents you want to be drafted in your home state for purposes of asset protection, for purposes of elder law. So as your agents or people listening to the podcast may be helping people move into the state of Florida, even if they already have a plan, it's a great idea to have it looked at and maybe refreshed, add some Florida asset protection language, add some probate avoidance language. There's still things that can and should be done quite often. Even if you've moved to Florida, but you still have your assets in another state like California, New York, you should have your estate plan reviewed to make sure it's up to date and will cover you. Um, so uh, one of the famous movies on the subject, maybe a little older for you, uh, Body Heat, I don't know if you saw it, where mm -hmm. uh, it was all about probate, a signature, one signature missed, different state laws are different. And so um, if you're talking about substantial assets, for sure, it makes sense. So um, obviously, when I talk to a customer and say, hey, look, you're buying a house, you should look at this, they ask me, well, what's that going to cost me? So what should I answer them that question? I mean, I don't mean to to, to choose your fees. And I also know that there's always a lower cost fee that's going to get them a less involved estate and less professional prepared estate. And there's more and, and they may or may not need more. How do you answer that question? What's the fee going to be for an estate plan? So generally speaking, we always have free consultations and that's our opportunity to really evaluate mm. what you need because, mm. you know, let's just say you have somebody who uh, maybe they're from out of state. Maybe they invest in a property in Florida. Well, you know, you can get a land trust done for $1,000, $1,500, and that may be all that you need. Or you may have a disabled beneficiary or special needs child. And now all of a sudden you're looking at a $9,000 plan because we're not only just planning for probate avoidance, we're planning on the financial um, support for someone who may be a generation younger than you for the rest of their life. That's a very different beast. And so um, there is really no one size fits all. Obviously, some people are all about the dollar figure and you know, I'm going to go with the cheapest alternative. Well, the cheapest alternative these days is always going to be some sort of online document generation, legal Zoom type service. It will give you a you know, legitimate trust. Does it have asset protection built in? Nope. Does it have elder law provisions built in? Nope. Will it avoid probate? Maybe if it's funded properly. And that is where I think the value of a professional uh, and in the real estate world, it's the same. You know, you can do a for sale by owner and approach somebody with an offer and find a title company and you, you know, cut out the realtors. They, you know, they make too much money anyway. But yeah. let's be honest, realtors bring value. They bring experience. They bring the ability to fix problems when they inevitably arise and they can save the deal. And if they save the deal or make it more efficient, um, is that not worth money? I think it is. I use realtors on my transactions. I could do it myself. Hell, I could close them myself. I choose to bring on somebody who does it all day, every day, who knows more than me. And I think that's where, what we bring to the table on the estate planning, probate avoidance, and asset protection side. You know, one of my measures uh, as I you know uh, meet attorneys across the country and add them into our network is the prominence of the free consultation. I think there are a lot of attorneys who, when they're pushed to it, will, will say it. But I think that you guys have really put that forward. I know through Melanie as well. And I think that really sets the stage that you're going to not 
you know, give them a price until they know, until you know what to diagnose and what the issues are. And so anybody watching this, you can go to the website, mortellerallaw.com is the website. And on there, right from the top left corner is schedule free consultation. You can go there, set a time and meet with his, uh, meet with him and talk with him or one of the staff members to see what your, and usually it's the intake process to identify what your needs are so they can come back with a proper proposal that's gonna make sense for you. So feel free to take advantage of that on the website. MortelleroLaw.com is the website. And Michelangelo Mortelero is our guest today. Um, you know, thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate your willingness to share your, your time and talking about the needs for proper state planning in the state of Florida. And look forward to talking to you again soon. Thank you, sir. Appreciate the opportunity. You guys have a great day.